We begin tonight with author and Charleston native Alicia Watson bringing her novel to life at the Charleston Civic Center this weekend, all with the help of some pretty talented kids. 13 News reporter Lily Bradley caught up with those local kids. She joins us now live with their story. What a unique opportunity. Adrian, it was so great. Now the book was based on a woo story and now it's based on a true story, that of Alicia Watson's life growing up in Charleston's Orchard Manor also known as the Woo. Now, that story was brought to the big stage tonight with the help of some local talent. And even if you have a dream, it's never too late to chase it. Alicia Watson is no stranger to overcoming the odds. I started out because I wanted the story to get told. The Charleston radio host turned author, now turning her book into a play with the help of some local talent. First time my mom told me about it, she said, Lisa Lee's doing a play. I'm like, really? I was like, I've never been in a play. Most of the cast has never set foot on a stage, but that hasn't stopped them from shining. Sometimes I'm nervous, but when I get on the stage, I don't want to get off. Allowing them to try new things. If you try new things and you're not sure you like it, like if you go on stage and you're really nervous, and then like you go on stage and you're not scared no more. While finding their hidden talents. I'm really good at it and I can do it for a living. And making new friends. Meeting new people is not really my thing, but I've met a lot of new people in this play. All while learning an important life lesson. What you have to do is just defy the odds where you come from, show people that just because you come from a place doesn't mean that's what you have to be a product of. Adrian, I have to tell you, I was there this afternoon and it was just so great. The kids were awesome and they were so excited to be a part of it. It was really, really awesome to see. What a great story. Okay.